Hi, I'm Terry, and I'm nuts about stamping. I'm back today with another Sundays with Sizzix project. Today I'm going to show you how to create a really cute baby card with the help of your Big Shot and the Baby's First Framelits dies. So I'm going to start off by die cutting out some things that I want on the front of my card. I have a piece of It's My Party designer series paper and I'm going to put the little onesie on there. And then I have another piece of It's My Party designer series paper. And I'm going to stamp this before I die cut it. And then the third piece I'm going to do is a hanger using some Whisper White cardstock. So let's take a stamp from the A Dozen Thoughts stamp set. It's the one that says hello, and I'm going to ink it up using basic black, and I'm going to stamp it down on the paper, like so. Hopefully you can see that, all right? And now I'm going to put the onesie around it, and then die cut that out. So let's bring the big shot in a little bit closer to me. move this over a little bit. Sometimes the magnetic platform pulls the framelit and I want it to look good. All right, so I'm going to put the top standard cutting pad on. So I have the magnetic platform, bottom standard cutting pad. I've got my cardstock and dies, top standard cutting pad, and then run it through the big shot. And I can punch these all out. The hanger piece, you have to be very careful so that the top part doesn't rip. If I had my paper piercing tool, I would use that to help me. There we go. So there's the hanger. There's the hello bib, and then here's the onesie. Okay, now the next thing I want to do is stamp a phrase for the front of my card. So I've got a piece of scrap Whisper White cardstock, and for this phrase, I'm going to use the Groovy Love stamp set where it says Born to be Loved, and I'm going to just stamp that down using my basic black. And then I'm going to use my word window punch and punch that out. There we go. And then I think I'm ready to put everything together. So for my card base, I'm going to use Whisper White. And I've cut it eight and a half by five and a half, and I scored it at the four and a quarter mark. And to that, I'm going to add a piece of Sahara sand cardstock. I'll have the measurements over on my blog. I can't remember what they are right now. Okay, and I'm just going to center this layer the best that I can. And then to that, I'm going to adhere the onesie. And I'm going to put that a little bit towards the top. Oh, before I do that, I need to put the hanger underneath. Almost forgot. There we go. Now, I can adhere the onesie down like so. And then I'm going to add the bib. Okay, you can see how I'm building it all. And then the last thing I'm going to do, or second last thing I'm going to do, is add the Born to be Loved underneath, like so. And then one final touch is I'm going to take a piece of Whisper White Baker's Twine. I've already made it into a bow and cut it off the bolt. And 
you get a glue dot. And then I'm going to pull the glue dot and the bow off and then add it to the front of my card like so. Now, if you want to fancy it up a little bit, you can add some more embellishments, but I think plain and simple is really cute. For a complete listing of the supplies that I used in the measurement for the cardstock and designer series paper, hop on over to my blog, www.nutsaboutstamping.com. While on my blog, make sure you're a newsletter subscriber. I send out a couple of newsletters each month with free and exclusive ideas. You won't see them anywhere else. You can also place an order for the products I use to make this card over on my blog. I'm Terry. I'm nuts about stamping. See you next time. Bye for now.